Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today, News Dice team is proudly sharing their participation for creating awareness against breast cancer. So let's enjoy this journey with us. Ms. Sophia, being an activist, is an integral part of all awareness campaign against breast cancer. Let's meet her. I've been associated with the cause for many years. RG Pink Walkathon is happening. The purpose is that we can be aware that breast cancer is prevalent in Pakistan for a lot of reasons. One of the major reasons is shame. There is no shame in talking about breast cancer because in the whole world, in Asia, पाकिस्तान में सबसे ज़्यादा हाईएस्ट अकरेंसेस इसलिए होती है ब्रेस्ट कैंसर की क्योंकि हमें झिझक महसूस होती है। तो हमारा मकसद ये है शौकत खाने मौसम में कि क्रिएट अवेयरनेस, बिकॉज़ देर इस एक कैनन कैंसर एंड इन्शाल्लाह वी कैन बी इट थैंक यू। लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इवेंट ऑफ़ पिंक पोलो। इट वाज the major highlights of the day were Aima Beg's concert, performance by Kodrum, a polo match, they move on to four and a half goals to two now. Bike show Tent pegging Beautifully decorated horses Fantastic oh. Exhibition of vintage cars Love isn't the best place to find a lever so the bar is where I go Me and my friends at the tables on each other The event was inaugurated by the management of Shaukat Khanam Memorial Cancer Hospital and a team of volunteers. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And ladies and gentlemen, we have officially started off and kick started being followed by Shaukat Khanam Hospital with the support of everybody here at Jinnah Polo and Kanchi Club. There you go. Then army band mesmerized us with their rhythmic tunes. Students, please give them a round of applause. It's an annual uh, charity event and I must give credit to all the world at the moment and it's the show of the drums now. There you can see the drummers marching uh, coordinated uh, foot movements. It was fun to watch passion and love of people with heavy bikes and vintage cars. You can hear the roaring engines of the Harley Davidson. A round of applause for our heavy bikers. The Harley Davidson, what a sight it is!
a shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on Students of HSN College Lahore, along with professionals of Rangers, performed enthusiastically in tent pegging. See, the Hedgesonians, all dressed in white. Wow, there, there you go. Oh, wonderful! Charging, beautifully decorated horses. Fantastic. Oh, wonderful that is! Polo match was the main theme of the day, so News Day's team had an opportunity to watch live thrilling match of Polo having international players from England and Argentina, along with the local players. The drive of that 40-yard penalty brings his team to two and a half goals to one. Both the teams quickly back onto the center tee. Lined up, waiting for that throw in. There it goes. Ball in play. And it's Abbas Mukhtar taking the ball onto the offside. And unfortunately for him, the ball pops out of that sideboard. We will have a free hit. There you can see Karenza starts off with the tap. Karenza drives the ball beautifully, a glorious drive onto the offside. But unfortunately for him, it will be Sakib Khan Khakwani, who experienced player goes in for an offside backhander there. In comes Tom Brody. Brody fumbles and misses. In comes Karenza again, leaves the ball for Ahmed Ali Tewana, who taps and turns. Ahmed Ali Tewana, La, very experienced youngster there. Ahmed Ali Tewana straightens the ball, taps it into, let's see. Yes, it has been declared a goal. Excellent uh, team play there by uh, Karenza and Emadri Tewana, finishing it off uh, with a lovely tap straight into that goal. Master Paints, FG Polo, move on to three and a half goals to one. Two quick goals by Master Paints, FG Polo there. There goes the ball again out of the umpire's hands. Tom Brody like a flash onto the ball. Tom Brody, Karenza raising his stick, but it's Brody now. Still Brody taking the ball himself, tapping it. Fumbles in comes uh, Manuel Karenza with a lovely looking uh, backhander on the offside. Sakib Khan, uh, a near side uh, next match official. And there it goes, the match has officially begun. Manuel Karanza, there you can see, along with him, it's uh, Mir Huzefa trying to challenge him. Karanza taking all the time in the world, taps the ball forward, a pass for uh, Emadari. In comes Amir Huzefa. Emadari was raising the stick, but there's no foul. Mir Huzefa, Emad, he swings and misses. In comes uh, Tom Brody, takes possession of the ball, he'll surely try to turn. Tom Brody, still Brody, Brody going in on their side and yes he scores! That was Tom Brody for his team, Diamond Paints Oblique FG Polo. Diamond Paints FG Polo open up their account with that first uh, goal uh, coming off the mallet of uh, Tom Brody.
Tom Grady from Great Britain. A pass. A pass goes in for an essay. Was hooked there by Ahmed Ali. The ball along the sideboards. In comes Manuel Carenza. Carenza turns with the ball, tapping it, gaining some momentum over there. Goes in for a lovely looking offside, uh, lofted drive. Let's see who reaches the ball first. Uh, and it will be Mir Huzefa, but uh, the ball goes out of play. Today, we realize that polo is a complex sport. Having chakkar defining the period of the play, all players were actively managing their ponies who were excitedly galloping after the ball. Congratulations to the winning team, Master Paints, and the winning pony. Today, Quadrum Music Band totally changed the meaning of music for us. Drum beats without any lyrics and poetry played with the rhythm can also make the audience go crazy. Yes, Quadrum did it with their fantastic harmony and rhythm. was a superb performance indeed. There was an excitement and eagerness in the crowd while the stage was being prepared for the next performance of one of the leading superstars of Pakistani music industry, Aima Beg. 
the whole crowd everyone in the audience was dancing on the tunes shaukat khanam hospital also arranged pink walkathon along the lake side of hospital for creating awareness of breast cancer news dice team participated in this event by taking part in the walk news dice channel is sharing the good news with their viewers that one of the team members of news dice team Askanuman also won the walkathon competition. Thank you viewers for staying with us in our journey of awareness against breast cancer. You all need to pledge to support this cause as late detection can be lethal. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Before you go, do like this video. Share this video. Comment your views in the comment box. Do subscribe my channel. and hit the bell icon for the further updates stay tuned till the next video thank you